Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As y'all know, school is closely approaching. It's almost crazy how fast the summer has been going. I said that in my last video because it is just crazy how fast the summer went. I feel like I've never had time to relax. And again, I'll repeat, I was in Europe for a month and everything, but I feel like ever since I came back, I've been like hectic. I've been doing all sorts of stuff. I moved. Oh, it's just crazy. And so that being said, today's video, since I don't have any new products to review or talk about today, is basically a back to school tag. Question number one. First day of school jitters. I'm not gonna say that I have jitters, but it's always like the night before I can't ever sleep Like I just will not sleep because I'm so like anxious for school to see my friends and stuff Granted I'm in college now, but for the most part I have the same people in most of my classes So I do kind of get jitters, but I remember back in high school. I had like big time jitters I had to be there early So I'm not like the first person But I'm not like the last person either because nobody likes to be the last person to enter a classroom Because then you're that person that everybody stares at as you walk in Granted, I'm a little more comfortable with that, but back then it was like a big deal. Like, my mom would be like, let's go get breakfast, and I'd be like, no mom, I can't. Question number two, have you ever fallen asleep in class? Like, duh. Like, even in college, like, I'd be like, I'm freaking tired by, like, lay my head down on my hands, and, like, I'm out. And I have gotten in trouble for that before. I remember a teacher came over and, like, hit my head, and I was like, oh. But you know what? It happens, like. Question number three, share your most embarrassing moment in school. Okay, in terms of college, it hasn't really, like, nothing has really happened. But school, I remember one time, so embarrassing. Embarrassing guys. Okay, so I was trying to go outside to recess or whatever and I believe this was around the sixth grade I remember I was racing my friends and my friend pushed me and I don't know if they still do this in high school But I thought it was kind of gross you empty the milk carton into like this huge bucket and like basically it's like a milk bucket I don't know anyway. They pushed me into that the whole milk bucket fell all over me It was disgusting guys just think like it had juice in it milk like all types of milk and like it all just fell on me and on top of that I still went outside and played because I mean the nurse didn't have any clothes my mom had to bring me clothes or take me home or whatever so I went outside smelling like rotten milk everybody was making fun of me I smelled disgusting I can't really blame them now that I think about it because I mean I smelled like freaking rotten milk but that is the most embarrassing moment ever and like I still think about it sometimes and I still remember the smell and I'm almost traumatized by milk like number four will you or have you ever joined any clubs or sport teams in middle school I was actually in football Football, I did track for a bit and I was in karate and I think that's it I think I was like in gay straight alliance my senior year of high school and now in college I'm in fashion society so there's that but you know what I find it really hard for myself to join clubs and it has nothing to do with me not like not being open to people it's just I'm really awkward so like I never know what to say and a lot of times when you go to these clubs like people already have their clicks you know so I feel awkward but that's not to like discourage you from joining clubs but that's just me personally like like, the way I interact with people is, like, really weird. Like, if you don't come up to me first, I have nothing to say. And it's not that I'm trying to be rude. It's, like, I literally, like, my brain can't process questions or a conversation. Like, I'm freaking weird. Number five, what has been your favorite grade? I can't think of any. Sorry. Like, I, I wasn't a big fan of high school. I didn't have much friends. College, not freshman year. Um, I guess, like, last year, the year before that, I started making more friends. So, like, things started going well. So, like, sophomore year of college. Number seven, who is your favorite teacher? I can't think of any. But I will say that, like, in my college, I like all my fashion teachers for the most part. They're kind of, like, awkward, but, like, awkwardly brilliant, you know? So it's, like, it's fun. I don't know. You get along with them. Like, you can't really fight with them. For the most part, I like my college teachers, high school teachers. I remember one teacher, his name was Mr. Boggs, and, like, he always, like, showcased my drawings. And, like, I swear to God, guys, they were, like, doodles. Like, freaking doodles that you draw when you're bored in class. And he would, like, be like, this is art. And I'm just, like... Can you stop? Like, it's my doodle. But you know what? He was a great teacher. He also sponsored Gay Straight Alliance, so that was nice of him. Um, he always checks on me, like, in college. Like, it's weird. But he sees my photos. He'll comment. So I guess he's my favorite high school teacher. I don't really know. Like, I didn't really have... I wasn't close to him or anything, but I see him on my Facebook, so there's that. My least favorite teacher. Oh my god, okay. I had this teacher. His name was Mr. Krall in high school. He got fired a year after I left, but he was... I don't want to say he was the worst teacher, because honestly, I felt like he tried to be good, but, like, the bad aspects of personality outweighed the good so like I always got into fights with him like and it wasn't even me trying to be stubborn or rude or disrespectful it was just like why are you making me do this like you know I'm awkward you know I don't socialize with people why are you making me hand out papers to people I don't freaking know like who the F is like John or like Jimmy like I don't know these people anyway he would make me do that Some, like, sometimes I'd put on my makeup and like in class and this was a high school thing guys this was back when like I had like emo eyeliner like it was crazy and I remember 
remember I would be doing my eyes and like I would only have one eye done and he'd come over take away my makeup and let me sit in class with only one eyelid done like I look like I had a black eye I look like somebody took their fist punched me in the face sat back down and I was left in class and like nobody sent me to the nurse nine what is the worst thing you've ever done in school my high school year of high school I skipped a lot guys like I would go with my friends go underneath a bridge do absolutely nothing except maybe they would smoke a cigarette and I would just be sitting there like what we gonna do and like there was nothing to do and so like I was just chilling there like why am I underneath a bridge so like if I could go back I would be like Alex stop skipping class go to freaking class stop hanging out with your weird friends like I'm just saying it was weird that is probably the worst thing I've ever done in high school number 10 did you have a car if so what were you driving I didn't have a car until like maybe second semester my mom gave me her Chrysler 300 so that's what I drive 11 are you still friends with anybody you went to school with that's such a hard question because I feel like I moved we grew apart I'm in college they're in college or they're not in college they're kind of like everybody's kind of living their own life there is like two or three people from high school that I still talk to regularly and we keep in touch but we don't really hang out but that's not to say that I'm not friends with them because I still am and I mean there's a lot of people that follow me on Instagram that I went to high school with and I'm always keeping up with them I'm always chatting with them but I haven't really hung out with anybody from high school in about a year and a half now so it's been a while now but people grow older and you know they get taken through different paths in life and that's not to say that we're not friends anymore but things happen and if you're watching this I love y'all feel free to hit me up if you want to hang out with me let me know is there anything you would change about your experience in school I wish I had stood up for myself more because I feel like my personality has always been like when it comes to confrontation I'm not scared to confront someone you know like if it's gonna get rid of a problem I will confront someone but back in high school I was really shy really insecure so like my confrontation skills or whatever it was almost like I held it in you know and even when I felt like yelling the shit out of people it's like I held it in it was like whatever I'm gonna let this go and I let a lot of things go when I shouldn't have I just wish I had stuck up for myself more so that it wouldn't have impacted me in this way you know so I wouldn't be as shy so I had spoken my mind because I've never been afraid to speak my mind but at the same time my insecurity kind of you know if I spoke my mind it was like at a 25% instead of you know what it is now so that's my one thing and you know there I got bullied a lot in high school being gay whatever like so that's the only thing I would change you know like if someone was I remember one kid told me he was gonna beat me with a metal pipe or something and I was just like all right you know it's kind of like I wish I had stood up for myself and I'm not to say like I wish I had caused drama or I wish I had gotten into a fight because honestly like violence isn't the key but I wish I had defended myself more so that I wouldn't be victim to these people that eat off of bullying others you know but that being said that basically concludes today's video I hope this video helped you learn a little bit more about me and I hope this video helps you and your high school jitters or what to expect I don't know I don't really do tags so this is my first time so I don't really know what they're for but sometimes I watch other youtubers tags and I get to know them so it's nice but yeah guys if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me personally make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time Diga Panda out